we're not going to do this very often. Uh, that is to play a clip from Meet the Press and praise it. I don't know that I've ever done this. Um, like, mm. yeah, let's praise Chuck Todd's best moment. The, well, he's he's out now, right? Yeah, he's gone. Yeah. Right. No, this is uh, Vaughn Hilliard. And I don't know. I, to be honest with you, I have no idea. That I, I was. I didn't even realize this was Meet the Press. I don't know if they're doing like a series of interviews or this was like thrown to a package. I don't know. Uh, but this clip is really uh, Im impressive. Um, they can do journalism now that Chuck Todd is gone. <laughs> I guess so. Um, it's No Label's co-founder Nancy Jacobson. I don't know really much about her. Um, despite the fact that it's a very transparent organization. One of the big uh, no labels people is Joe Lieberman. Um, and they have raised $70 million. And this is amazing to me. Let me put it this way. If their candidate is, you know, um, a fraction of as incompetent as their co-founder is, um it's it's a, a laugh riot but um here is um here's von hilliard questioning jacobson about the transparency the funding and the rationale for the no labels presidential campaign how much money has no labels raised we are close to our goal. We are looking in the next several months, I'd say. $70 next, million? Dollars? Yes, that's been the, the, the goal that's uh, been out there, and, that, and we expect to meet that goal. This is a presidential ticket. I was going to just say, I, this is not a Saturday Night Live sketch from the, uh, from the 80s. You know, like, she, uh, can you imagine being asked, how much money did you raise? And you're like, we made our goal. Our, yeah, right. And you know, it's that's the number that's been in the press. If that's mm -hmm. the so number you say, the number is are, that is no, close to is what we do is. Sam, do you, know are, who, uh, do you know who she's married to? Oh, God. Mark Penn. There you go. <laughs> that, that explains uh, everything. All right, start from the beginning. How much money has no labels raised? We are close to our goal. We are looking in the next several months, I'd say. $70 next, million? Dollars? Yes, that's been the, the, the goal that's uh, been out there. And, that, <laughs> and we expect to meet that goal. This is a presidential ticket. High stakes that we're talking about. Why not reveal your donors? Because, uh, the, you know, the, the truth is about the time in which we live in. You reveal, uh, first of all, it's, it, you, we're not a party. And second of all, we're well, not. you guys are no, registering well, as a party uh, you know, in states you know, around that, the country. That's just the and requirements of the state. We the Democratic are, Party, we, the Republican not, Party, they have to go and submit we, their we are not. So a, if you guys are registering let, Let's talk about what we're doing. Party. We are building a movement at the Common Sense Majority. <laughs> And we're getting ballot uh, access in the 50 states, and we will never run a campaign. This organization, at the moment, but the, you're a campaign as a political party. But that's that's just uh, language. That's not you know we are not functioning. We we are one ticket, one time. A party definition of a party is running candidates up and down the ballot. That is not what we're doing. Your organization, just, your organization, though, in a video posted just two weeks ago, stated, "quote We believe in transparency, not backroom deals." You have no primaries or caucuses. There are rich people that are funneling millions of dollars to your effort. Why should the public Secret trust rich people. that this is nothing short of a backroom deal? Because we, we've been around for 13 years. They can see the leaders around this. They can see Senator Joe Lieberman. They can see <laughs> Governor Larry Hogan. They can see a civil rights leader, wow. Ben Chavis. They can see all the leaders. They can see our work for the last 13 years. I mean, it's all that, that work is all light. They can see uh, our ideas, the common sense ideas. I mean, put our ideas out on the table and see the people that are around Ooh, us. But we know how the game works in politics these days. You, it's not that people really want to see the donors because there's nothing nefarious going on here. It's because well, they, they, they trust oh, that, though. you know what, they're going to have to see us through our work. We're not a political party. We're not trying to run any candidates, but we're applying for ballot access in multiple states. Like, I, I appreciate it's literally all backroom deals. I know. And I, I appreciate that he tried to really get her on the dark money and the funding and stuff like that. But. Um, I also would have wanted to ask a bit more about what their ideology is because no labels all, all wants to talk about like, we're not left wing. We're not right wing. We're right in the middle, which means you're right on the right. She That's, answered. 
Brad. Well, she answered. She said common sense. Uh, oh, common, I'm sorry. Common movement sense of movement. common sense. I forgot yeah. about that. But like, it's a movement of common sense. I think that the thrust yeah. of the 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 questioning is about like I don't the if no labels runs a presidential candidate, it's going to be a spoiler, and Donald Trump could get elected, right? But it's like, well, what is the purpose of no labels in general then, outside of that practical? Um, Outcome. They've been promoting uh, common sense for 13 years. I, I Where have forget. you been? I, I guess I don't place the value on common sense uh, in terms of like a, a, a value proposition uh, for what I want in my politics. That's just I, not really I, what I lead with. I would like to meet the single human being who lives on the planet who is not working or are receiving funds or having given funds to no labels who can state one thing they have done in terms of their work over the past 13 years. <laughs> I have spent those past 13 years covering politics. I cannot tell you one thing they have done other than come out and pretend that they are some type of no partisan or bipartisan organization. I mean, outside of their branding, I can't even tell you what they have done and who their constituency is. We yeah. and we we can't possibly know because the, their only constituents are the are the uh, big money donors who gave them money. It is very funny to go on their uh, Twitter page and just find any tweet by them and try to look through their replies for a single fan of theirs and it's all people from the left to the right saying you're frauds <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know, right like right right like there's literally nobody who's like oh thank you for the sensible policies statement well, okay but to be fair that's because the common sense people are uh completely censored on twitter they get um <laughs> common common Make, censors get uh, shadow banned makes sense makes common sense <laughs>